Hi, I'm Captain Larry Bell with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. All right, up here from Ayers Point, all the way down toward Cottonwood Bayou, all the little back lake mouths and stuff that come back off into the bay system. You know, we've had some water come back for us, and one of the best things that's happened to us, we've gotten some rain the last few days, and that's been a real big blessing. So super happy with that. So hopefully that will uh, continue to uh, bring our salinity levels back to a little bit more manageable areas as far as what they should be in our water systems up and down the coastline here. That's going to be a big deal for us. Uh, that'll pay dividends down the line. But that said, these little back lake mouths get up here in Cottonwood or uh, some of the other little back lake mouths that are down there all the way down toward Panther. Man, some of these things have been really good. Been lots of bait that's working out on the mouths of it. So you can start your day out there on the outside of that throwing either your down south in chicken of the sea, magic grass, uh, twisted tea. Again, twisted tea has continued to be pretty productive for the long haul now. It's been, uh, anytime we've had that particular color bait on it, it's been super, super productive for us. Uh, if you don't have that, you need to make sure that you get some of those. Also, white ice has been good. Uh, the knock and tail lures have been really good in both the white ice, chicken of the sea, and that flavor as well. Watermelon red has been good. Uh, the smoke flavor, now it's a little bit bigger bait, but it has been productive as well. Uh, but just, just to name a few of those particular soft baits there, then of course the soft dine has been good, especially off the deeper edge. Uh, working some of these guts there in Cottonwood and some of the back lake mouths there. We get back up there in the lakes. Uh, where it's a little bit shallower and you find some of the shell beds in and around that that's got some cuts that work back up in those things. Throw your topwater bait in there. Uh, we've had some pretty productive days with uh, the topwater. Spook Junior is a specific one that I like to throw. Uh, there's there's plenty of topwater baits that are on the market, so whatever, whatever you like is fine. I'm sure it will be just as good. But Spook Junior for me, you know, it's got either got a, uh, I'm throwing either the bone, in chrome, or excuse me, the black and chrome color, or the uh, uh, white, or not white ice, but bone diamond in that particular flavor, uh, baby trout, as long as it's got a white or gray belly on it, uh, that, that'll be just fine. Uh, that's been uh, pretty productive in some of the back lake areas. Now, not so much not on the outside edges, the bay sides and stuff, no, it hasn't been as productive. Your plastics have been, has been better there. Uh, double D in some of these areas have been good. Finding the deeper grass beds that are in that, uh, you know, waist to thigh deep area have been good for the double D. Uh, I like throwing those in particular things. And so the, uh, uh, those particular colors have been good. Again, 16th ounce jig heads is still the, the weight of choice. Uh, not throwing anything heavier than that. We're still... You know, we're working knee-deep to thigh-deep water up and down these shoreline edges and in these guts and in these mouths and in these back lakes. Uh, the grass has been very healthy this year, and that's one of the things that's noticing a lot of the grass is starting to come back up there. Uh, and it's I think that's a direct result from cedar being opened up, and we're getting that fresh seawater from the Gulf coming into that system and starting to really fluctuate that water system really well. So uh, we've got a lot of good grass that's showing up and it's uh, paying dividends as well as those fish are hanging in and around those particular areas. Uh, again, locate your bait, work your uh, majors and minors in these particular areas. Like I say, the water has come back for us, so it's been nice to have a little bit more water. So these back lake are starting to really kind of show up and light up with the fish starting to show back up in the redfish are starting to be uh, pushing in around these back lake mouths and out on the edges of them, especially as you work down toward Panther and Panther Lake, uh, back in those areas as well. So uh, continue to just uh, locate those particular things that you need as far as your bait working in the area, the majors and minors, and then incorporate those particular colors up and down the shoreline and in these back lake mouths, and you'll find, you'll find your fish and be productive. Jaybird Point all the way down to Spalding. Lots of back lake mouths in there, again, with the influx of water that we've had come back into our system. Some of these back lake mouths are starting to lit up really, really well. Um, starting to locate some fish back in some of these mouths uh, in the main body of the back lake, a little bit deeper water. Uh, again, with the rain that we've had the last few days, it's, that's going to go a long way to help our base systems out, especially in the short term. Uh, it'll really just kind of breathe life back into the system as, as our cylinder level was getting pretty high there for a while. So this has been a 
very much needed thing that we've had this rain system here that we've had the last few days anyway uh work these back leg mouths get up in there find your windward side of it and, and just get there work your top water bait in there again spook jr is my favorite to throw whatever you like to throw that's fine I'm sure it'll be vice and productive that are back in there. Then again, uh, again, throw the 16th ounce jig heads in the back of these things too. Uh, you know, your wide ice in both the knock and tail and the down south lures have been productive in here. Uh, purple rain in the uh, burner shad for down south has been really good. Also the twisted tea, wide ice in the burner shad. Those flavors have been really good uh, in the smaller baits. And then of course in the regular uh, original size of the down south has been good as well in the same flavor. Uh, the, the knock and tail in both the uh, white ice, chicken of the sea has been good, watermelon red as well. All those baits have been very productive up and down the shoreline. In these back lake mouths, you can get back in some of these areas that have gotten a little bit more water that's pushed back into them and they're starting to light up. Lots of bait that's pushed back into these areas. Find your grass, find some shell that's back in some of these areas and just work these areas. Be patient with them. Because say we're we're finding a little bit of everything. We're finding undersized red, redfish, undersized trout. We're finding slot redfish. We're finding slot trout in some of these. Some of them really good trout in some of these areas. So, uh, and it's come on a, on a variety of colors. It's not one particular thing that's just stood out more than anything else. It's been multiple colors. So, and we've had uh, multiple personnel with us fishing. So, everybody's had a different flavor on, different size profile on. Uh, so we've caught fish on just a little bit of everything. So make sure that when you get into these back lakes that you have uh, a choice of different things that you can tie on, whether you're by yourself or got buddies with you or whatever. Uh, somebody throws something different every time until you kind of narrow it down just a little bit. And uh, that way you can kind of gauge them and get them uh, zeroed in on what they really want. Uh, again, the majors and minors have played big parts especially we just got through with the big moon here so we're on the back side of a full moon so the, the full moon bites were exactly when they were when the, that moon was rising and that moon was set and it was a it was very productive during those time frames in the middle of the day not so much at least not for guys that are, and gals that are throwing the artificial baits it was really tough after that about an hour or so after that moon had set in the mornings now in the evening times when that moon was starting to rise we were starting to get our bites again so again during that time frame, that's when I really targeted those particular areas that we wanted to fish and the time frames that we wanted to fish, and they were productive for us. Now, again, we're, we're transitioning away from the full and heading back into transition days or wild card days, if you will. So, again, uh, put all different flavor baits in there, profile sizes, and, and work a little bit of everything in certain in these areas uh, in the different sizes and profiles and color to see what's going to be working for you because again it's wild card day so we just kind of be all over the place uh again with the fluctuation of our water coming in and coming out that we've had with our tides and stuff there's been some of these back lake mouths have been really good the guts have been really good you can get in these areas and and wade the mouths of them up to the lakes there's it's not too deep to do that and the bottom's good you can work those areas as long as you got bait working those areas you'll locate some fish uh, just continue to work these shoreline edges. Again, incorporate your majors and minors into these areas. Look for your bait, and you'll find your fish. Up in Mission Bay, past North Pass, on the mouth outside of here, we've been working these areas up and down this shoreline on both sides of North Pass and into Mission Bay. You know, a little point that's right in here and around this island, you got a lot of shell that's around that on both sides. Uh, that has been holding some trout in there. Now, again, we found a lot of trout that's in here, a lot of undersized trout, so you may have to go through 10 or 12 of those suckers before you find a solid one to get in there, but they are there. Uh, again, main things that we've been throwing here, throwing 16th ounce jig heads, both down south lures and the knock and tail lures have both been very productive for us. In down south, the twisted tea, white ice, uh, magic grass in those particular flavors. Uh, for that in both the burner and original size because again we just came off the full moon so the profile size is needed to be a little bit smaller hadn't been super productive on the super models or the bigger models but ever so often you can get one of those and be productive but the main things that have been throwing is the burner in the original size in both of those in uh, both the knock and tail and the down south uh, also in this particular area have been throwing the double d around this and around that shell been working that or off those edges of that the deeper edges 
of the shell. Again, when you get up in here in the Mission Bay, in this particular areas up here around the mouth and on these edges like this, it is weightable, soft in some areas, but as you can continue to push down the sides and uh, down toward the back on this, especially on the right hand side, it gets really soft. So you want to stay in the boat and just kind of work your trolling motor, if you will, or drift it. All these areas in here, we're locating fish just scattered out. Nothing uh, just super, super consistent, but you know, you can work through it, make several drifts through here, and you can locate some fish in here. You'll pull some out on some drifts, you'll have some fish, other, other drifts you will not. Now, as you get back to the back and get around the river where it comes into it, those back lakes or those back areas back there, where again, with some influxuation of water, been able to get in some of those areas and found some redfish that are back in some of those, uh, you know, topwater baits, uh, the burner shads have been really good, especially uh, Color X uh, has been really good. The Twisted T has been good as well in, in both those burner shad flavors back in there. Uh, Purple Rain has been good as well, White Ice. Those four flavors right there in the burner shads have been very productive, especially in this back shoreline there close, close to the uh, Mission River that comes into it. Now, you can wade that area back there. You can get into Mission Bay and... Uh, in the very back back there and you can wade that shoreline it's it's very weightable uh very manageable to that you can handle that back there that's not a problem at all it's pretty firm for the most part uh you've got scattered shell back there again good grass back in there we've located some, some, some fish uh some scattered trout that have been pretty good size uh decent size at least in the slot uh scattered redfish back up and back on that shoreline and especially back up in the creek mouse and off some of the back bays that are off the edge of that creek that comes into there. We've located some redfish in there. Uh, again, that uh, water levels have to be right for you. I guess you just got really a super skinny boat that you can get back in there and uh, just float it, run your trolling motor, just kind of work the edges. Of course, if you're, you know, if you've got a tower boat, uh, I know some of the tower boat guys that I've talked to have done pretty well back in these areas as well, locating some fish. Uh, continue to work these areas, continue to work your majors and minors into these areas on both sides of Mission Bay. You know, you got the lake that's back there. You can get back into that area. It's, it's been holding some fish. Uh, so just take your time, work lots of different areas in there. Like I say, if you, if you get back up in there, you'll locate some fish. You just got to be patient with it. You have to go through some smaller trout before you'll find some, some better trout. But you're catching some fish, and there's fish that are holding back in here, and that's a good thing. Again, with the influxuation of our water, that's been very helpful to us. Again, with the rain that we've had, it's going to be, it's going to pay dividends down the road for us as well, if not not in the short term as well, but especially down the road, is it's going to help that systems out tremendously in both Copano and uh, up there in Mission Bay area, and all all our estuaries in and around the Aransas Bay area. So uh, again. You know, knock and tell in both the white ice, chicken of the sea, water, watermelon red have been all been good in both the uh, down south, the twisted tea, white ice, purple rain. All those flavors have been good. Incorporate a little bit of pink. It's in there. Victoria's Secret has been good uh, in a little bit more of the dirtier off color water, especially back in here in Mission has been pretty good bait. So if you have that particular color. Tie it on, throw it. You'll be pleasantly surprised how that will uh, be productive for you. Again, locate your bait, working in and around these areas back here. Be patient with those particular areas, and you'll locate your fish. Watching, I'm Captain Larry Bell.